folks, I'm Ian Baker, and today we're going to go over the 2019 Jayco J Flight SLX 174BH Baja Edition. So, this one is lightweight, it comes in right around 3,000 pounds, and it has some of the features to help make it go off road, like larger tires, bigger propane tank. We'll take a look at some of those things when we go outside. First thing I do want to talk about is the countertop here. So one of the things you will notice is the fact this does have a seamless countertop. That way you don't have any T-mold or anything that's popping off. And that also allows you to undermount the sink so you get a much cleaner look. And if you put a sink top cover here, you can get basically a flush countertop. So all that is usable prep space. You also notice the two burner cooktop right over here to the side. And if you drop underneath, you will see big storage, plenty of room there for pots and pans. Right over to the side here is the refrigerator with drop down freezer compartment. This one does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switch over. Uh, if you want TV, this is essentially where your TV hookups will be. You have electrical outlet right there as well as your 12 volt, your antenna booster there, cable inlet. You'll see your power awning. We'll take a look at that when we go outside as well as some light controls. You right underneath here, you will see the LED light to help brighten uh, Help brighten up the camper and obviously the LED lights don't use near as much power as your old incandescents. Storage right up top there, microwave over to the side, hood underneath with both your light and a fan. And then moving over a little bit further, take a look at this. You have this big versatile space, you can either use this as pantry space or if you want to use it for the kids clothes, you can do that too. Right here in the very back is the bathroom. We'll take a walk straight back. So you have your toilet paper holder here to the side. Toilet in the very back. Uh, as far as space, I'm great for legs, uh, leg room. Also for the shoulders, I'm pretty good here too. Thanks to the fact it's a curtain, not a door. I have no issues with the uh, toilet space in this bathroom. Now, if we take a step into the shower, it's a slightly different story. So I'm six foot. As you can see, I am hitting the top of the skylight. I do have to bend down a little. You know, if you're maybe 5'10", 5'11", you might be able to do it. Any shorter than that, you'll be fine. But as I said, a as a six foot person, I do have to bend down just a little bit there. It is a tub though, which I like for a couple of reasons. One is the fact that it keeps the shower curtain in. So uh, that higher threshold, that higher wall means you're not getting as much water out. Plus, if you have little ones, you want to give them a bath, you're still able to do that. Right up above me is the WineGuard Razor TV antenna. It's an upgraded low profile antenna. Uh, much easier. A lot of manufacturers are going to this now, so that way you don't you know, forget to lower your antenna and have it snap off as you're going down the road. Thermostat is right over here. This is only for the heat. This one has a side-mounted AC. I'll show you in a little bit, but the uh, thermostat for the, or the control rather, for the AC is on the AC unit itself. You have two bunks. Uh, the Teddy Bear Bunk Series, they are fairly thick mattresses, which are nice, very soft too. 300 pound weight capacity on here, folks, so that way you know, adults uh, can sleep in here. I will lay in here just to give you an idea of the size. So as I said, I am six foot. I do have a little bit of space. So that way, uh, as I mentioned, you know, if you want adults to sleep in the bunks, you want to take it for, you know, a weekend for just an adult trip or a fishing trip, something like that, you can do so. Electrical outlet in there as well if you need to plug anything in. Moving over to the, uh, moving back toward the front rather, you have the dinette. This is built basically for just two people. It does drop down into a small bed, but again, it's really only going to work for a child. You'll see your direct vent furnace is located right there. Uh, folks, in a camper like this, that is more than you will need. It'll keep you nice and toasty, trust me. You have your radio right up top here. This one is Bluetooth capable as well. Storage going across the top, privacy curtains, so that way you can close it off at night, have some privacy from who's ever sleeping in the back. As I mentioned earlier, right there, <coughs> excuse me, is your wall mount AC. And as I said, the controls and everything for it are right on there. Windows on both sides. Uh, the one is an emergency exit here, as well as a window up front. So it lets in plenty of natural light, as well as airflow throughout the front of the camper. Pretty good size storage up above the bed there. And then you'll see an electrical outlet in case you need to plug anything in, cell phone, something like that. And then underneath your main bed here is more storage. This does uh, share access to the storage from the outside. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features on the J-Flight SLX 174BH Baja Edition. 
So one of the things you get with the Baja Edition is a larger propane tank. And it goes from a 20 to a 30 pounder there. So that way you can stay out a little bit longer. You will also see rails here for your battery, as well as diamond plating coming up the front, helping to protect the front end from rocks and debris that may get thrown up by your tow vehicle. <clears throat> coming around to the side. So if you take a look along the bottom here again, part of that Baja Edition is you get diamond plating along that bottom strip. You will also see inside that you have pretty good front storage area here. So if you have some, uh, some bigger items, a lot of times they will fit in here. It's not the highest, uh, but again, it is a pretty good storage area once you're inside. And as I mentioned, that does share the access from in, uh, under the bed. So if you need to access it from inside, you can do that too. Power awning on here, touch a button, roll it out. Same thing to go back in. It is a carefree of Colorado awning. Uh, cool thing about this one, folks, you have the LED light strip on there as well as the speakers. So that way, if uh, you, know, you want to listen to some music while you're outside, you can easily do that. For the entrance into the 174, you have two foldable steps and the grab handle here for some added control. And as we make our way back a little bit, so again, part of that Baja package is the off-road tires. You have Goodyear off-road tires on here. Gives you more ground clearance as well, which is fantastic. And the underbelly, folks, is completely covered and insulated. So that way, as you are going down those dirt trails, it's going to help keep a lot of that grime out of the underbelly. You also see outside uh, electrical outlets there if you need to plug anything in. That, of course, will be the place to do it. Making our way around to the back, you'll see right back here you have square tubular bumpers with end caps. You have a convenient spot to store your sewer hose. Mounted to that is your spare tire with the cover. Great thing about this, it's probably one of the easiest places to access it. And if you take a look underneath, you can see this one also comes equipped with four stabilizer jacks. On the off-door side, right up top here is your cable and satellite inlet, city water inlet a little bit uh, further down here. And if we go down even further, we'll see the termination with our black and gray tank valves. One thing to note is how much cl ground clearance you have here. Again, it's part of that Baja edition. It gives you more ground clearance to make sure you're not going to hit, knock off, or damage your termination. 30 amp power cord is hiding right there for you. Uh, one thing I didn't mention is that this one does have your Dexter axles with never adjust brakes as well as the Easy Lube hub. So great thing about the uh, never adjust brakes, it's one of those things that a lot of people forget to do is adjust the brakes. Folks, with this one, you don't have to worry about it. It automatically adjusts everything for you. Last couple things I want to touch on. One is right up front here is the fresh tank fill. Chances are with this camper, you will be utilizing that quite a bit. And also your low point drain is marked here and you will see that right underneath. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2019 Jayco JFlight SLX 174BH Baja Edition. If you're interested in this travel trailer and you would like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.